hello welcome to earth engine tutorial 119 in this video i'm going to show you how to plot uh, raster data in 2d and uh, 3d so first let's go to the gmap uh, website to download the notebook example so gmap.org and then tutorials scroll down to the end number 119 uh, and click the notebook upper right corner here click the download icon to download this one to your computer and then you can open and using uh, Jupyter Notebook or Jupyter Lab. So this is a rather simple uh, tutorial, uh, just one function. I'm going to show you just how you can visualize any raster data. And keep it in mind, this is not Google Earth Engine image. It is just any regular uh, GOT for pretty much any um, uh, image format supported by Excel Ray. So if you can open that, uh, you will be able to uh, load it into uh, the map. So first let's import the libraries and then we are going to use the sample data set uh, srtm uh, data set and so if that doesn't exist on your computer it's going to download this one uh, to your computer so once it's finished downloading then we can use two functions uh, you can either use plot three uh, raster and this one just um, put it on uh, just visualize that directly just plotting out and no uh, on interactive map and the next one is using you can visualize in 3d so here you will notice that uh, there's some uh, input parameters so the image this one can be directly just an input image uh, to local file pass or it can be a file pass to uh, HTTP URL and the CMAP is the color map how you want to visualize that so first let me just execute just to show you what the output uh, look like so um, it's going to see that something like this right so this is the dm and the color is controlled by the cmap parameter so it's the terrain but you can welcome to change it to any other uh, map plot lead uh, map plot lead uh, color map uh, you'll be supported and also the fixed size uh, inches for example how uh, the width and the height right so 15 inches and also uh, width and 10 inches hike so this is how you can uh, plot the image uh, directly visualize that so here if you want to change it for example i can change it to maybe to gist uh, earth or you can put it in as any anything it depends on what kind of uh, image you are plotting right so this is another color i can also change to something for example cool warm uh, there are many color map options available for you to choose uh, and if it doesn't yes um if you say have a typo or something uh it will probably inform you that it's not available and then you might need to choose a different option right so if you see it's showing an error and showing that this is not a valid color or name so you, you need to choose one of those so you can see there are locked of those here available and so for example for dm uh, most likely you can use just the terrain and that's it so this is how you can visualize the data upload the data directly you can certainly also add this one to the map so um let me let me show you here let me create um an interactive map and then just display the map once you have the map then we can add the raster to the interactive map so and so it will be just map dot add uh, underscore raster that's it and so the set first permit parameter will be just image right and the second one will be what kind of band you want to add and the third one is the palette so i can say palette equal to uh you'll be similar like right? for example terrain that's it so shift enter uh as you can see oh looks so why it's supposed to be here oh this parameter is wrong p a l l t t e so if i have a typo right now you see this one here and it's pretty simple just one line of code you can add the data to the uh, interactive map so this is what it looks like and because you don't give a name so it's you're just going to use a random one uh to the layer name if you want you can just type layer name equal to for example i say uh a dm right and then shift enter it's going to add that one and now you have the dm so this would be the one that you can uh, choose it's also automatically zoom to the extent of the dm so you can zoom in you can zoom out right 
so these are the sec this is the second way you can visualize the data so this one is the first one uh, is static just map the second one is an indented map but it's 2d so the last one i'm going to show you is a uh, plot raster 3d and first pri parameter is the input and the factor is how you want to basically multiply the uh, multiply by the elevation value so basically if you want to exaggerate, exaggerate uh, the elevation a little bit then you can multiply by the number so it can be one two three whatever and the color map and the background or what kind of background color you want just shift enter you should see the 3d map easily right take a look so this one behind the scene uh, it is built on top of a pi, a pi vista x-ray so this is a new package that was released um and so we are just using this one it's still under active development and uh, you can check that out on uh, github if you want but this is pretty nice one line of code now you can visualize the data uh, any raster data uh, and you can also specify what if you have a multi-spectral band you might need to specify for example what kind of band index you want right you can specify the index because uh, you can do that for dm you can do it for temperature anything that has a value that if the high value indicates something the low value indicates something then you can use this one right you can use your mouse to rotate uh, move around and you can zoom in you can use your uh the wheel to just scroll and you see the zoom in and zoom out right also at the bottom here shows you the color bar so the color bar shows you the um the elevation difference right so from 15 all the way to uh 4000 something okay and it's so that it's give you a different perspective uh compared to what you put this one in a 2d map right and this will be much better hopefully in the future we'll be able to overlay some other features for example rivers lakes or other buildings on that but at least this is what uh uh original dm like without anything else just the dm and it's still pretty good right and it's also quite smooth so you can try it out with your own data set uh see if it works for you okay so uh that's pretty much about this uh, tutorial and i hope you uh, enjoyed it i hope we see you in the next uh, video take care bye bye